Let's see the headlines on Nigerian newspapers, the front pages of uh, newspapers today across the country. We'll begin with the Vanguard newspaper. Vanguard says, citing ill health, CJN quits after row with Supreme Court justices. And uh, cites ill health, Justice uh, Ariwala takes oath of office as acting CJN, and Buhari confers a CGON award on outgone CJN Muhammad. And allegations against ex-CJN will be probed. Okocha SAN is saying this, and several other uh, headlines in there. That's the Vanguard newspaper. The Punch newspaper is next. Supreme Court crisis. NBA wants ex-CJN probed. Ariwala sworn in. Workers demand autonomy. An ex-CJN's probe necessary for justice administration, say NBA chapters. All right, we've been vindicated. Justices are awake from slumber. Jusun is saying this. Uh, no allegation should be swept under the carpet. CSOs uh, insists, right? These are all serious reactions from there. Nigeria News Direct is next. And it says, corruption allegation, mixed reactions trail CJN's resignation. As Buhari swears in Ariwala, that's what the News Direct says. Okay, from there, let's go to the leadership newspaper. Ariwala is new CJN as Tanko quits 18 months to retirement. Okay, that's what leadership newspaper has. And there, let's go to the blueprint newspaper. NBA urges CGN Ariwala on reform. Tanko bows out. Uh, lawyers pledge support to clean mess in the system. Be true allegiance. Buhari tells Supreme Court justices. Okay, that's what the blueprint has. And there, let's go to First News. It says, Acting CGN opens up on corruption allegations against Tanko. Uh, that's what the First News has in there. From, from the First News, let's go to Daily Trust. How Tanko Mohammed was forced to resign as CGN. Intrigues that led to ouster. And uh, Ariwala takes over in acting capacity. That's what Daily Trust has. Daily Times. Daily Times says, why CJN Muhammad abruptly resigned? Justice Ariwala takes over as acting CJN. MBA welcomes Justice Ariwala's appointment, pledges support to acting CJN judiciary. Okay, that's what the Daily Times has. Daily Independent says, how Supreme Court justices forced CJN Muhammad out of office. Buhari swears in Ariwala as acting chief justice of Nigeria. Confers national award on ex-CGN Tanko Muhammad. Okay, that's what Daily Independent has. And Daily Sun is next. Untold story of CGN's resignation. Justice Ariwala takes, takes over, pledges not to disappoint. Don't make Nigerians lose confidence in you, Buhari warns judiciary. A reformed judiciary now, MBA tells new CJN. Okay, that's uh, the Daily Sun. The Nation newspaper is next. Is next. Suspected memory disorder forced ex-CJN Tanko to quit. All right, Justice Ariwala steps in as acting CJN. All right, suspected memory disorder <coughs> forced ex-CJN Tanko to quit. That's what the Nation newspaper has. All right. I believe this is giving an extra detail to to the to what maybe everyone knows. This Nigeria is next. Guns for citizens. Military warns Zamfara government. We don't take orders from states. Chief of Defense Staff responds to advice on gun procurement for self-defense. That's what this Nigeria has. From there, let's go to the Nigerian Tribune. Call to bear arms. Chief of Defense Staff counters Zafara governor. Matawale's directive in order, other governors should follow suit. That's Ghani Adams is saying this. Now it's time for state police. Akiri Dulu is uh, resonating this. Catholic communicators raise alarm over frequent killing of priests. That's what the Nigeria Tribune has. Okay, from there, let's go to the national economy. Six months after launching Pyramid, Locally produced rice still scarce and expensive, right? Six months after launching Pyramid, 
locally produced rice still scarce and it's, it's expensive, right? We saw, of course, we saw those pyramids in parts of uh, the country. Uh, one wonders. But it's okay. Let's uh, move ahead now. Business day, fiscal time bomb. Petrol subsidy hits 2.1 trillion naira. That's what business day has. All right. From there, let's go to uh, the Guardian UK now. That's uh, outside Nigeria. The Guardian from the UK says, prospect of strike grows as doctors eye 30% pay deal. Okay. And certainly, uh, Boris Johnson is, uh, from his own perspective, is not looking at that right now. But, of course, ongoing discussions. All right, let's go to Saudi Arabia. In Saudi Arabia, uh, we have Saudi Gazette here. Jeddah Islamic uh, port receives 1,183 pilgrims, representing final Hajj batch from Sudan. Okay, that's what uh, we have uh, here. And it also has VAT is not charged twice on the same item. I'm trying to explain a few, explain a few things uh, there. Okay. Those are some of the stories on the headlines this morning. And the most prominent one we are seeing so far, uh, we have seen today, is uh, the issue of the former CGN, Muhammad Tanku, quitting his office. And uh, he is due to resign, oh, sorry, he's due to uh, retire, retire by, by the 31st of uh, December 2023, you know, so this 18 months uh, before his uh, resignation. But if you see what uh, the nation newspaper has, suspected memory disorder forced yeah. uh, XTJ and Tanko to quit. Yeah. <laughs> I should have known you would well, do to that. <laughs> well, if it's uh, memory disorder, mm. it's, uh, it's a serious it's thing. It's a serious very, thing. Very. Well, is, was there memory disorder in all those, does it play a role in all those uh, allegations? Did he forget that he had not been um, seeing to the welfare of uh, yes, fellow justices. Did, 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 did they forget that he was supposed to sign for Dizu? Did they forget that he was supposed to sign for the welfare? Or did they, did they sign Tokumbo? Is this sign, sign Tokumbo instead of new cars for the other people? We don't know what the nature of memory disorder. Maybe, maybe the problem is actually memory disorder and not corruption. All right. it, may, that may, it might even be the corruption of the body Mm. That, that, that is the real problem, and not, <laughs> not corruption and, and, not, and not knowing, <laughs> and, not, and not knowing what's uh, and going not knowing on. Yes. What, what's yeah. going on is also yeah. is instructive. Uh, going by you know some of the revelations uh, by the nation and other papers, there that um, this is something that he had been um, you know mulling over mm. before. Now he, uh, we understand that um, he possibly could have resigned earlier. But if he had resigned, uh, Justice Mary Peter Odili was the number two, the next most senior judge, and she retired having uh, reached this uh, age, the mandatory retirement age of 70. She retired in May. Mm -hmm. So if uh, he had resigned earlier, um, Justice Odili would probably have had like a month or thereabouts since she was leaving in May. So he, he put it off till a time such as now, even mm -hmm. though, of course, uh, like the NBA has said, he cannot isolate the fact that he retired or that he resigned now uh, from the fact that there are, you know, this kind of allegations coming from one, uh, many of his own, a majority. In fact, it was like a lone war he was fighting because mm -hmm. every other judicial um, justice of the Supreme Court indicted him, so to speak, uh, in that memo that surfaced uh, online. Mm -hmm. Now, the, if, you, if you look at some of the uh, dissatisfaction from the memo we read, if, if it's uh, something to go by, uh, there were issues of, uh, you know, cars for justices, issues of welfare, epileptic power supply, internet issues. And these are very everyday issues that uh, shouldn't even have been, you know, have been any case at all. Well, he said uh, this was an uh, issue of budget. Economic, mm. economic maybe, crunch. Maybe the money they gave, they gave him was high and he, he forgot about the money. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it wasn't mm. enough. Mm. Maybe it was, maybe if it was not enough, mm. all he needed to do was call and say, gentlemen, what we need 
is two billion. What we have is uh, 500 million. How do we go about this gentleman? Right. I mean, it was, yeah. it's, right, it's right. not a matter of being uh, uh, obfuscatory, uh, hiding the facts, or, or claiming that uh, everything is fine and dandy. Well, big men, mensch, you know the word, the word mensch, mensch of the bench, <laughs> are there, and uh, you deal, deal with them as though they're little boys. I mean, you achieve justice, but for most part, you are first among equals. Mm. You know, so it's it is a problem, and they also say that the problem in uh, in the judiciary is that the the what they call court heads have become corrupt heads in the. It's not just the Supreme Court; it is throughout the the judicial system. It's not just the Supreme Court that you are the state judge. You are head of a, a, a bureau of the law, and uh, they they have budgets, and then they become tyrants around the the money. So that is uh, that is what's going on. A lot of chief judges are like that. There was a case of um, of uh, a governor who who asked the chief judge not to sit on the on uh, the financial. The, the committee. Mm. And what did the chief judge do? He appointed this relation. And the relation <laughs> gave contract to his brother. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, indeed, you can, you can stretch it by saying that the issue of judicial autonomy will continue to be a burning issue mm. uh, in, in the judiciary of, or in the administration of, um, of justice. Uh, of course, the, this health um, grounds now, are, like Sam said, they are very, very, very serious. And um, it's, it's possible that that is what we, we saw as against, you know. But then, I don't know. I, I really don't know how, what to make of it. But yes, I, I, I feel that, that all these allegations should not go away, should not be swept under the carpet. I, I think I joined in the clarion call that they should be investigated. And it's instructive that the justice of the Supreme Court who led uh, the, the petition or the memo uh, against the CJN where they said they had lost confidence in him is in the person of uh, the new CJN, the new mm -hmm. acting CJN Justice Sari Walla. So it will be very fascinating to see what he now does now that he is in the saddle. We'll wait to see how he now addresses those concerns because indeed it's not just about him or the others. It's, it should trickle down to the entire judiciary all over the states. Mm. Uh, we, we hope to see more yeah. accountability. Uh, and the NBA is saying this is an opportunity to uh, reform the judiciary or the judicial system generally, because the point <coughs> is a lot of things are there when it comes to how the judiciary should work. Now, the total 100 exclusive autonomy of <coughs> the judiciary is, is also being uh, talked about here. Uh, as an, It should be unseen seem to be as well. Yes, yes. Yeah, mm. says not only you're not supposed <coughs> to be fair, mm. but you'll be seen to be fair. Yeah. I understand that they were supposed to hold, I don't know where the meeting will still hold today, mm. the body of benchers uh, supposed to um, resolve these allegations against uh, Tanko. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but we don't know what to continue of it, and I think they should continue because the allegations are grave and uh, for a profession that relies so much on precedent, this matter should not be allowed to um, just uh, wash away. It's, it's so significant that we cannot um, do otherwise. Yeah. It's so significant. All right. Another issue on the papers this morning is the, is the story from Zafara State. I remember we touched this yesterday. It was right. all over the papers yesterday regarding mm -hmm. the... Uh, the, the state go the Zamfara state governor, uh, Governor Matawali, uh, making the move, calling on residents to uh, take up arms and get licenses. In fact, he had gone ahead to communicate to the commissioner of police from the reports we got to, you know, begin to process uh, or, or get ready the system for those who want to uh, acquire licenses for arms so they can, you know, defend themselves. Uh, the, the reaction from the chief of defense staff uh, counters that seriously from the perspective of the fact that uh, he said the governors don't have the powers that uh, he is expressing in that regard and that uh, the, they don't take orders from the state governor. You know. the, gov the governor was not giving orders. The governor was 
advising people. Yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 that, 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 there should be a distinction. Mm. This, the, the man was not exercising an executive power by saying that uh, people All should, residents yeah, must. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it was not exercising. It was advising people. It was, in a sense, an expression of surrender and Absolutely. an indictment of the CDS yeah. himself. Saying that, look, you guys have abandoned us to hell here. Yeah? So what should we do? Mm. We cannot just fold our arms and let these people come and run over this place. Look, Zamfara is a gold mine. The state is a gold mine. Mm. You know, there's a, short, there's a short story called uh, Lost Country, mm. where it's a short story by an English author, Hearn, about a place where everybody goes there and nobody comes out. Mm. <laughs> it's like Conrad's Heart of Darkness, where people go, when you go, the, get, the, the more you go into the territory, the, the less you know about the rest of the world, of the, world. the civilized mm. world. You are gone and you are finished. We come out of it not a human being, but a beast. So that is just the situation in Zamfara. There is money, but there is death. Mm. There is gold, there is ghoul. You now what's I don't know, is it ghoul? Yes, G H O U L. Now I'm echoing uh, Joseph Conrad again mm. in his uh, in his uh, big uh, novel, uh, forgotten that big his biggest novel, where where people go there, it becomes a war zone just because they are fighting over, 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 over um, the, the, material the treasures, survival, yeah. the, over the, the, the treasures, the yeah. resources. Yeah. Over yeah. resources. It even reminds me of um, the situation. Is it the Air Congo now? You know, the, the, the treasures there. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That as was rich as, rich as it was. was. That was what, that was mm. what uh, Conrad's House of, Art of Darkness was based on. Of Mr. Darkness. Kurtz, right. you know. Right. So Mr. Court, he dead, mm. you know, he died. But it was dead long before he died mm. because his soul was already was gone. already gone. <laughs> All right, <laughs> All right. Uh, we we look forward to because uh, the the chief of defense staff <clears throat> was using that opportunity in his speech to at the National War College mm. to send reassurances that the the military would do the needful and ensure they protect lives and property. So let's wait to see how. That turns out Nigerians, not only in Zafara State, what they want is we go to sleep. When we wake up, we wake up safe. Intact. We go to uh -huh. work, we want to come back home. We go to church or we go to a mosque, we want to come back home. So let's see how it goes.